German government lawyers will argue at the UN's top court that Berlin's support for Israel does not breach international law. This on the second day of a hearing at the International Court of Justice in The Hague. The case has been brought by Nicaragua, which accuses Germany of, quote, facilitating genocide in the Gaza Strip by supplying weapons to Israel. The head of Germany's legal team calls Nicaragua's case grossly biased. Nicaragua's case against Germany has two main goals. To halt Berlin's military exports to Israel and to restart German funding for the UN's Palestinian Refugee Agency. Their argument that Germany's actions are in breach of the Genocide Convention. Germany is failing to honor its own obligation to prevent genocide or to ensure respect of international humanitarian law. Germany's supply of arms to Israel is a central pillar of Nicaragua's case. Germany is Israel's second largest arms supplier behind the United States, accounting for about 30% of all Israel's weapon imports. Nicaragua argues that by continuing to provide these weapons, Germany is enabling Israel to commit acts of genocide in Gaza. The International Court of Justice is currently examining whether Israel has committed genocide in a separate case launched by South Africa. In bringing this case before the court, Nicaragua says it is acting on behalf of the Palestinian people. I mean, this is a very important case, obviously, for our Palestinian brothers, but also for the people of Nicaragua. As you may have heard in our expression, in Nicaragua we have enormous sympathy with the Palestinians, with the suffering the Palestinian people are going through. And that's why we felt that we had to do something. Obviously, the only thing Nicaragua can do is use the few resources it has. And one of the few things that Nicaragua had is some experience with the International Court of Justice. Close ties between Nicaragua and Palestinian organizations date back to 1979, when Palestinian groups supported the Sandinista guerrilla forces that overthrew Nicaragua's dictatorship. Germany's staunch support of Israel goes back to just after the Second World War. The German government sees supporting Israel's security as a historical responsibility for Germany's actions in the Holocaust. Berlin categorically rejects Nicaragua's accusations. Germany does not and never did violate the Genocide Convention nor international humanitarian law, neither directly nor indirectly. Germany will get its chance to make its case in court on Tuesday. For more, let's bring in DW correspondent Lucia Schulden. She's at the ICJ in The Hague. Good to see you again, Lucia. Now, yesterday, Nicaragua claimed Germany was, quote, facilitating genocide. Today, it's Germany's turn to take the stand. How will the delegation respond to these accusations? Yes, yeah, so it is expected that Germany is going to reject these allegations. We've already heard yesterday from the German agent that Germany is saying that this Nicaragua's presentation was grossly biased, that Germany does and did not violate the Genocide Convention and international uh, humanitarian law, and that it is, uh, on the contrary, committed to upholding international law uh, in, the, in the international um, uh, in, in its international relations and it is going to show today uh, in detail how it does this and how it lives up to its responsibilities, Germany has said. So in about two hours um, Germany will start with its defense and um, we will then see what are the main arguments Germany is going to make to um, show on the legal side uh, how it is doing that and that it does not do or how it says how it's going to prove that uh, Nicaragua's um, accusations are not valid in their opinion. And those are grave accusations that Nicaragua is raising. What evidence are they building their case on? So Nicaragua has been mainly talking yesterday about um, weapon deliveries of Germany to Israel. Um, Germany is indeed uh, after uh, 
East, uh, after the United States. Uh, one of the main supporters with weapons, there is um, CIPRI numbers um, that Germany does provide 30% um, of the weapons uh, to Israel and um, this is the, the main argument I would say that um, we have heard yesterday here from Nicaragua they have been giving numbers official German numbers uh, to prove that and um, it is expected also that Germany will answer to this and give their take um, of what they're delivering and what that actually means. Okay so after today's session the court will have heard both sides what's going to happen next? Yeah, what is really important at this stage to mention is that we are at the stage of provisional measures. So at this stage, Nicaragua is asking the court to order Germany to mainly stop sending military aid to Israel, as well as to start funding UNRWA again. For these provisional measures, it is a re there is another test, so to say, then for the main case. So these provisional measures are expected to come relatively early, within weeks. Some people even say within two weeks this might already be the case, that we have a first answer, a first decision by the court, and then it might move on to, a latest, to the later stages uh, to possibly a case on the merits. But this is expected to take much longer. Lucia Shilton in The Hague, thank you so much. Well, pro-Palestinian protesters gathered outside the German embassy in Washington to show their support for Nicaragua's KCW's Benjamin Alvarez reports. These protesters are supporting the case brought before the ICJ accusing Germany of facilitating genocide. Different NGOs have called for protests not only here in front of the German embassy in Washington, D.C., but also in front of the German UN mission in New York and several other consulates. They say that Germany is the second biggest exporter of weapons to Israel, is facilitating genocide in Gaza, supporting the claims by Nicaragua. And they also handed a letter over to diplomatic staff here saying that Germany should stop sending weapons to Israel immediately. Germany is supporting... Uh, Israel, no matter what, they are complicit in the crimes that Israel is committing and I feel deeply ashamed about it as a German. This sets precedent for us to then turn and go back to our government and say stop arming genocide, stop breaking both our domestic laws, the Foreign Assistance Act, and stop breaking international humanitarian law. We're here today to um, let them know that we're, we're aware of what of their complicity in the genocide. After handing over the letter at the embassy, organizers expressed disappointment with the response they got from diplomatic staff. Germany rejects Nicaragua's accusations as baseless and will present its argument on the second day of hearings in The Hague. Michaela Lisowski heads the human rights hub of the Friedrich Naumann Foundation for Freedom, a foundation affiliated with Germany's Free Democrats, one of the parties in Germany's government coalition. Michaela, good to have you on DW. Now, you say Nicaragua's case is a political red herring, but if the court were to determine that Israel is indeed committing genocide, it is currently still deliberating on this separate case in the Gaza Strip, would Germany, as the second biggest weapons supplier to Israel, not bear a certain responsibility? Well, good morning, first of all. Germany has always a responsibility as a weapon supplier. Of course, that's true. But Nicaragua argues that Germany violates its legal obligations of the Genocide Convention. What Nicaragua did successfully, if I may say, to point a finger towards Germany. And naturally, people follow the direction of the finger, but we should turn around and look into, di the, into the direction of the, the arm. So that means that actually it was not a coincidence that Nicaragua submitted the application exactly on the 1st March of 2024 against Germany, because a day before, in the late afternoon of the 29th February, here in Geneva at the UN Human Rights Council, the experts of the UN Human Rights Group on Nicaragua presented their report 
on grave human rights violations in yeah. the Central American country. We, we do want to talk about the direction the finger is pointing, though, because, you know, Israel, of course, has a right to defend itself against Hamas. Germany is assisting them in this endeavor. Um, but providing 30 percent of all arms to Israel with all of these uh, allegations of the rules of war being broken in Gaza, is Germany downplaying its role in this? No, absolutely not. I mean, it's a legal accusation. That's true. And Germany, as you've said in your report, will reject Nicaragua's accusation and respond this morning before the court in The Hague. But what we have to know is that Nicaragua does not allow access to justice to all its citizens. So this is really an important issue here because Nicaragua gets the media attention. And it's not about genocide. It's not about Israel and Gaza. It's about Nicaragua putting itself on the stage of international justice in The Hague today. All right. Nicaragua, um, once again, they also accuse the UK and the Netherlands and Canada of abetting genocide. I do want to look at the case at the ICJ today. It's very interesting what's happening in Nicaragua, but, but just to focus on what is happening today, how big could this case become? Well, I suppose that the outcome of the case today, it's not a case yet. So ICJ has not adopted it and accepted it as a case. It's really a first hearing today. And yesterday was a hearing by Nicaragua. So the outcome will probably that the court decides it will not accept the case before the official and main case, South Africa against Israel, will be decided. So I do not expect the case to become bigger, actually. Um, well, if they do not throw the case out, um, how do you think it could affect or if, if the court ended up, let's say, ruling in favor of Nicaragua, how could it affect Germany's policies in the Middle East? Well, I cannot uh, really say something about the effect because from my point of view, and I'm a legal expert and I'm an expert, political expert on international justice. And from my point of view, there will not be an outcome. It's really the case is really from Nicaragua's side is an awareness raising and getting media attention, really, and putting itself on the case and on the stage of mm. international justice in The Hague. All right, that was Michaela Lisowski, head of the Human Rights Hub of the Friedrich Naumann Foundation for Freedom. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much.